Hello, darlings. Y'all like my bougie turban? And I got a bougie turban on. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate that. Y'all can click that like button so that we can start reviewing these wigs that Wild Wigs has sent me today. Okay. So, they sent me two wigs. And I have not cut the lace. I have not tried it on. It is still fresh from the package. So, y'all get to see everything. And, of course, we can... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using that wig cap. But the first wig that I'm about to show you is 12 inches. And it is the Fake Scalp Blueless Body Wave Brazilian. Okay. I took out all the... <laughs> little net and here is the hair fresh out of the box. It is a 12 inch fake lace scalp as you can see. The scalp is supposed to look real without having to do much to it. Here is the inside and you can part it everywhere on that fake scalp. So I'm going to try it on. This is how much fake scalp you have. You have to like all the way almost to the back. There is a strap inside. So you don't have to use glue if you don't like glue. The lace, I'll show you the baby here. It's pretty good, right? Got the lace on there. And so this is only 12 inches. I don't normally do short hair. But I'm going to try the 12 inch Brazilian Wavy, and I think this is going to be pretty anyway. Look at that baby hair. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and cut off. It does have lace in the back and the straps. There's combs, so it's it's good, good in that aspect. Um, now I have to cut off this lace so y'all can talk to me and tell me how good I look in this turban while I do this. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. This is my bougie velvet turban. This is what you wear when you don't want to be sitting up on a video trying on wigs with a wig cap on. It's an alternative to a bonnet. <laughs> okay. You could also wear this if you don't have a wig that day. But um, I don't suggest going out unless you're Absolutely have no choice. <laughs> so I cut I cut the back. Well, I haven't cut the back yet. I'm just gonna do the front for now because y'all won't see the back. And I want to hurry up and get this on so y'all can see what it looks like. But first I do need to adjust these straps in the back because sometimes the wig is loose and if you don't do the straps, it'll just kind of be loose. On your head. So, these in. I like these straps. Let's say they're like good quality. All right, here I go with the fake scalp. Oh, forgot to take this off. I'm about to put this over my, uh, my little pigtail from my braid. <laughs> I didn't finish braiding that side. Gotta tuck it in. So, I've tucked all my hair. And this little wee thing. Now I'm going to put this on. Hopefully, it's a fake scalp. I don't have to wear a wig cap because the fake scalp. Hey, if you just like wig caps, you know. More, oh, one of my braids came out. Tuck that back. Oh, I'm getting Lynn Whitfield. I'm getting the line between love and hate. Okay. Birthday cake with a butcher knife vibes over here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get my... Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm getting bougie villain with a Tyler Parent movie. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting bougie Tyler Perry leading actress. Okay, so I didn't do anything. As y'all can see, I just stuck it on. Um, I cut the lace a little bit. I have not plucked it or put anything on. Here is the part. Here's another part. So I would actually do a side part of this one, even though I like the middle part. I do want to just get extra stylish with it. You can do that. Um, just, you know, have to comb it out flat, you know, flat iron. So I have this part. Oh, brush might help. But anyway, it comes with the middle part, but you can part it however you want. I think it would look good on the side. But let's see what the middle does. I would definitely pluck it a little bit more and kind of straighten it out. Um, but this is the 12 inch glueless body wave in the natural color. I like it. I think if I were gonna do short hair, this would have to be something you know, like this. I mean, I would definitely do a side part um, with this, the shorter here. I think it's cute though. Ooh. Gonna have to get some tools and some product to get that to stay on the side. But, and then I definitely have to pluck this hairline. But this is the scalp, the fake scalp wig. Um, it's very dense, so it's 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 a good thickness. Um, you can see flat ironing it or curling it up even more. I've got some of my gloss. You like this one, y'all? Don't forget my coupon code to save ten bucks. It is. I forgot to put it below, but I'll put it there after the video. It's just my name, um, Letitia. Leticia, Leticia, however y'all pronounce, I'll type it in. This is my code to save 10 bucks if y'all are on the site already. Just put that over there. Okay. So usually I would just pluck it with some tweezers or whatnot, but I'm going to do all of that later. I really like this one. Okay. Now, the next wig they sent me, I haven't even opened it, but I saw on the website. Oh, let me show you guys this wig on the website, just so that y'all can know what it looks like. So this is the picture of the wig. Looks like they wet it, but it's called the fake scalp. Blueless Body Wave Brazilian on the site. I need to clean off my phone. <laughs> okay, next. I think this one is called, I know this one is like gonna be long. This one is her, the one I'm about to show y'all. This is gonna be that wig. And that wig is the Natural Color Deep Curly Brazilian Hair. Ooh. I'm waiting for this one. So, there. It's pretty long. Let me take the stuff out of it. These are good summer wigs because they're curly or wavy. This one is pretty thick. I like the texture of it. It's the Brazilian. Here is my cat is meowing. Here's the inside of the wig. 
there's combs, and it is a 360 lace. It does come with a strap and adjustable bands in the back. So your cat likes it. Yeah, my cat. My cat is strange. It, she'll just meow for no reason. Really loud. <laughs> I guess she's bored. Let me go play with her. Okay, so I'm going to cut the lace while I'm sitting here with y'all. And y'all can tell me what y'all think of the wig I have on. Is it me? Should I wear it? Does it make me look older, younger, or the same? Is it cute? What would you do to what would you do different? How would you style it? Because I like I like to hear y'all styling opinions. Because sometimes I would never think to style it a certain way. And maybe someone will say something in the comments and I'll try and I'll go, hmm, this this is this is a good idea. So Put your input. What would you do? Middle part, side part, wet it, curl it, flat iron, what? <laughs> side part? Okay. Yeah, I like the side part idea too. But I, the middle part is, is cute too because a lot of the wigs that I do get are always side parts. So sometimes it's refreshing to get a middle part wig. <laughs> and then like the one that get, comes with the middle part, you want it to be a side part. <laughs> it's crazy, right? But the one you want to be the side part is actually a middle part. Big body curls, okay. Mm-hmm, okay, so. Got this lace coming off. I didn't cut the lace perfectly, y'all, because I'm just trying to try it on for you. I usually like take my time and do that little lace or just at least longer than this. But since we are live, I can just do it just a little bit. It is a color where you won't really be able to see it that much, so. Now I'm going to take my, pull it down a little bit. Okay, so my, my little braid came off in the, down in the back. I got to put it back a little bit. All right. I'm going to slap this on. Ooh, this one is, the strap is good on this one. So it's tight. You don't, I don't think you're going to need glue unless you're going to do the 360. Uh, lace all around. Ooh, forehead looking like five head over there. <laughs> okay, I'm just, it's a little, uh, I'm trying to find the comb. Uh oh. Where's the comb? Is there not a comb? The combs are further back. Interesting. Okay. The combs are further back in the wig, not right up on. Wait. Okay. I guess that'll work. I don't care. As long as there's combs and they get in there. So, I, I would definitely cut more of a square hairline. I don't like the round hairlines, so I would definitely go up in there and be like, square. A square. I don't like around here. Like, so. And I don't even know if I have this on right. <laughs> I don't know. It's strange because the cones are in a weird place. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to have to take my whole hair down. Like, start over. <laughs> Did I put this on right? Okay. Yeah, the cones are further back. That's what the problem is. And I'm going to cut more of a square hairline because I hate that round. Sorry. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, the lace. I know it's gone. <laughs> I don't like the lace, y'all. It, it bothers me. Mm -hmm. 
I don't like this hair line on this one. I guess. Um, but let me let me go ahead and put it back on. Um, this one I will have to do a wig cap because it's not the scalp scalpless or whatever. And hmm. all right, Put my little wig cap on. But then how am I going to put the combs in my dome? All right. It's tight enough to not to even need the combs, actually. So that's much better. There we go, Shaka Khan. Um, definitely gonna have to do some plucking up in there because you can't even see the part. It's like, where's the part? Anyway, I think I like it though. What do y'all think? It's, I think it's 24 inches. You can wet it and tame it, or you could fluff it out. I'm probably going to wet it after I plug it. But I'm just showing y'all the wig. Y'all like this one? Too big. Your head is too big? Oh. I think they have different cap sizes on some of the wigs where you can choose your cap size. So... Also, customized wigs, they can do it for you at Y Wigs. If you got a big head and you need a custom one, just get like a larger wig cap. Cute. Yeah, thank y'all. I'm definitely going to do more plucking, but I'm just going to, for the video, I'm just going to do a part a little bit. I just take my tweezers. And pluck on the part just to give it more natural appearance. Uh, finish the rest a little. Let's wet it a little bit. Those kids, I keep taking my spray bottle. Sasha, let's see if my assistant is near. My assistant here. She said, Nope. <laughs> oh, my assistant is not here. Sasha! She's like, Let me. Hmm. I'm gonna use this leave in conditioner. Feels good. Okay. Get it nice. Such a little. Yeah, this is a. Maybe they sent me this one before. I don't know. Because <laughs> I feel like I have this one already. It just. Time for a new one, I guess. They said the other ones look like a raggedy. The density. Oh, let's check. That way I can give you the precise density. Ooh. Uh, I need to look. I don't know if they gave me the density. It's probably the thickest one. Whatever it is, it's the thickest one. I know that. Whatever density is the thickest one that they have. Because 
they always usually send me the middle or the thickest. So I'm thinking this is the thickest one because it feels thick. Um, what am I sporting on? Wig out leave-in conditioner. I got this at a beauty supply shop. It's just a leave-in conditioner. It's better for wigs than like whatever, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's what they told me to use um, at the hair beauty supply shop or whatever. Okay. So, I like it. It's just like my other wig. It's fun for summer. It's versatile. Um, just throw it on real quick. You can wear a cute maxi dress with this. You can go to the beach. Uh, if you glue it on real, real good with some special glue, you might go swim in it. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. It's not glued on. But it does have a strap. So you really don't have to glue it on unless you want to. So, which one do y'all like better? The shorter 12 inch Brazilian wavy or this deep curly Brazilian? You like the short one better? Yeah, this one's kind of cute. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I might wear this one when I'm feeling like a little short hair do. Mm -hmm. The first one, yeah. Um, does anyone have a remedy for ages? Wigs mess me up. Oh, remedy for ages. Oh. I say pull the wig down further and put your wig cap on and just, you know, or brush them back and slip them back. Uh, you know, like you see a lot of celebrities who wear wigs like Nicki Minaj and they put their wig like all the way down here, but they pluck it so far and they do like baby hair so that it looks like their forehead is still kind of out. I don't do that. So maybe you can try that. Just pluck it extra good with the baby hairs and pull it down lower. So your hair in the back on your edges won't get messed up. Um... You like the short one because it's different. Thank you. Well, I don't know. I'm, I might wear this one or I might put that short one back on. We'll see. I'm going to put the short one back on. Y'all can see this one is similar to the one that I always wear. I'm going to put the other one back on, right? This one would be cute as well if you did like a top ponytail and you can do like this hi you could do it back and pull it down on your five head to make it a forehead maybe put a headband on if it'll fit over your big head this will be cute as a middle part i feel i definitely have to do a lot of plucking to get that Ooh, i like it Middle part, hey, let me get my comb. I think this one will have to be a middle part. Maybe. Definitely think so. The one I have similar to this is a side part, so I definitely want this to be a middle part. I think I got a super pluck on this one. Super pluck. We'll be plugging for 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> you okay? You must say the part on it. They sure didn't want me to have a middle part. Okay. I definitely had to put like some concealer or powder on the, the lace up there. Because it is hidden deep within the thick density. Oh, thank you. Gentle soul. Love you, Shira. I never got a chance to catch your lives. Besides the need to feel like a man. <laughs> Respect and intimacy. What are the other love needs of men? P.S. I like that second week. Oh, thank you. 
what are the, besides the need to feel like a man, respect and intimacy, what are the other love needs of men? Being left alone, darling. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Leave alone. <laughs> Give them a space, baby. They like space and they don't like to be nagged or told what to do. They like food. They like to look at nice things that look pretty. <laughs> they like to feel like they're the only one, baby. You know that. I'm the only one. You'll never leave me. They like to for you to lie to them, tell them what they want to hear. They don't like the truth. <laughs> okay, being honest, you gotta ask me the question. They like to feel masculine and be left alone. They don't like all that extra stuff, especially when they've gotten used to you. They like for you to have a life and a hobby so that they can miss you and then when you they see you again it's like seeing you after a long time and they actually miss you and want to spend time with you instead of wanting to get away because you a lot of women smother men and they don't even realize that so just give them their space have a hobby Make them think they're the only one. <laughs> know their favorite stuff. I don't think men like being corrected, especially in public, so don't do that. And this is a dense wig. I definitely have to pluck some hairline off. So I'm just gonna keep plucking. Keep on loving. You caught your girlfriend in bed with your father of ooh child of tea. About a month ago. Ooh, she slept with your uncle too, girl. Ooh, child. Did she get paid? <laughs> she come up with her half of the week. Is she your roommate, girl? Is that, are you a man or a woman? Hold on. Harry. Harry boy. Okay. That's a troll, but I'll answer your question. Hey, Snoop Dogg has a song. It says, it's back from the 90s. Y'all remember that song Snoop Dogg had? It ain't no fun if the if the homies can't handle it. Ain't no fun. What was that Nate Dog? <laughs> anyway, they they probably got more money than you, man. That's all you know. You get your money up. You said it. Oh, you're a lady. No, I was talking about there was somebody else that asked a question. <laughs> they said their uncle and their father, their girlfriend, was caught with them in the bed. Ooh, child. A mess. Pretty fella. Okay. Um, still, I need to. More. Then I'm going to put my highlighter, I mean, not my highlighter, my concealer or powder in there. And just make that part a little bit more relevant. And I'm getting Diana Summer vibes. Did I even part this straight? I'm going to pluck. I hope I didn't pluck the crooked part. Oh, I could just adjust the leaf. Thank you. Um, she's out. <laughs>
I hope you're joking, because if not, that's some Jerry Springer stuff. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put some concealer in. Pull it down a little bit more. And go down the line. I always do it a little bit lighter so I can uh, see it, and then I go in with the other color that matches or mix it up together. Sometimes your scalp is lighter than the rest of your face, so you don't want to have it darker or the same exact color. So I have to mix it up. Alright. Now you can get like a wet white. I like the excess mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. And voila. Definitely we'll have to do some baby hairs because this one is thick, so I'm gonna cut some. It's thick. It's super thick. <laughs> you know, been, just whoever had this hair was taking their biotin. Okay. <laughs> Take your biotin. <laughs> Taking your biotin today. Um. <laughs> Just cut a little bit. You thick, girl. You thick. You been eating. What you been eating beans? This this is a high density wig. I'm just playing with playing with y'all, but <laughs> she thick. Anywho, now I have to use this to lay the baby hair. Hi, I hate getting it caught in that lip gloss hair. Get caught in my okay, so oh, I'm gonna get the Michael Jackson baby hairs working. I wanna go I don't like them like that. That that's too too slick. Oh. Okay. Gotta take a not so Michael Jackson on me. It just looks fake, like when I do the baby hairs. Maybe I need a different gel. It's too slick. Just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, this. Maybe it needs to dry. Thank you. All right. Next, I'm going to put this much on this side. Stab it. Slick. Slick Rick. Well, that's a little bit better. Mm 
spray some off the spray to tame the sun with that little puppy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, spray my eyes. Get those ends. Okay. Just a little bit. Little curls, super curly right there. <laughs> okay, so a little bit more here, and this is deep curly Brazilian. After I try to pluck it and do a little part. And attempt some baby hairs. I think I over the middle. Oh my gosh. In the front. But whenever I do that, I just get like some eyebrow, you know, powder or whatnot and just fill it back in. No big deal. Or like a black or brown eyeshadow. I use this. Mm. Do I have it? I have it. Oh, you get a life. Okay. Oh, I have a troll in here, y'all. Y'all know the trolls like to get attention. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of this eye eyebrow stuff and kind of fill this middle part back in because I think I went too far in the front. I have it looks like I almost have a ball spot because that lace. <laughs> Let me clean it up, baby. That's better, right? I gotta pull my baby hairs over it. That's how you fix it if you over pluck y'all, just in case where y'all get a marker or something. <laughs> Whatever. Just in case. Thank you, sweet like honey. Shira, baby, I if familiar familiarity familiarity breeds contempt. How can you entice a man to want more of you and still want to pursue you after being together for many years? Don't hang around all the time. Have a hobby. Be gone. Be gone for hours and hours of the day. Don't tell them everything. Don't call. Don't tell them everything you've done. Let them ask. Let them wonder. Dress up. Change your hair up. Look like a different person every week. Like I do. <laughs> Get some wigs. Get your wildwigs.com up. Use that code. Save $10, baby. Let them come home to a different woman every day. Okay. Men have eyes. They like to use their eyes. They like to see something different. Change it up. Don't look the same all the time. Yes. Have other things going on so that they are not the center of your universe. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll fix that later. That's kind of bugging me, but it's going to have to do for now. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, definitely, probably going to be better if you take your time on that hairline and glue. If you like to glue or cut the baby hairs better. I'm going to cut a square or hairline and I'm going to do some more big hairs in the future when you see me with this. But this is just something that I've done real quick, just for the camera, for y'all to see. Who's there? Who's there? Is that Sasha? Come on in, Sasha. Nothing. Want to try on this wig? No. It's cute. 
<laughs> She's like, no, I don't need no weed, mom. Unless it's not a bright color, I don't want it. How are you? I have to do these while we a videos. They're saying hi, Sasha. <laughs> okay. So thumbs up if y'all like this wig. And y'all go check out the website. And I'm gonna my code is down if you scroll further. Um, these two wigs are going to be listed. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see more Y wig information with my discount code, but I'm also going to link it after the video because I forgot to put it in there in the beginning before you scroll all the way down. So Sasha was like, action. Uh -huh. Action figure. Mm -hmm. She or can you get this volume with your natural curls? Oh yeah, my my natural curls are. I can get it, it, especially if I blow dry and just calm it out. I can get it this big. <laughs> but yeah, I can get it this volume. It's probably not gonna be this thick. It used to be very thick when I was young. I used to hate my hair because it was too thick. It would take two three days to dry. <laughs> But as I got older and put like more chemicals and dyes and flat irons on it, it thinned out a little bit. But um, And that's kind of what I was hoping for when I was younger because I could not do thick hair because it was, it was very time consuming. Uh, so I'm kind of glad it thinned out a little bit. Yeah. But if I ever want thick hair, I just get a wig, baby. <laughs> so this is her I don't know do y'all name y'all's weeds these weeds don't have a name they just the, the names of what they are mm -hmm. so well this kind of reminds me of like a Nicki Minaj wig how she wears her hair you know, when she does it curly. <laughs> it's a, like I said, it's a good summer wig. If you ever, if we ever get out of quarantine and we can go on vacation, a lot of people want some vacation hair, some pool hair, some swimming hair. I think this is a good alternative. A lot of people, like before they go on vacation, they'll get their wig sewn in, like just right around here. And they can swim in it. I know a lot of people do that because some people don't, um, you know, want to swim with no hair. <laughs> so they want to look like a mermaid and whatnot. So they just get the wig sewn in around there and then they don't have to worry about it coming off, baby. Mm -hmm. You said thanks for that tip. Oh, you're welcome. Um, that brush is small, yes. So the baby brush. It's a baby hair brush. And I also have a comb. Mm -hmm. How do you store your wigs in a box? Um, in a box. The ones that I wear on a regular, I keep them hung up like on like these clothes hanger things. <laughs> clothes hangers, okay. I have like a scarf rack and it has like these little hooks and I'll hang the wigs on some of them or I put them on um, hangers. But they do have these little cute wig bags. They look like mini garment bags and they're pink with like a little pretty satin um, thing, pretty satin uh, material and you can zip it up and see through it. They sell those on Y wigs as well. So you can get those if you like want to organize it in a nice, aesthetic, pretty, feminine way. Mm -hmm. How would I dry my hair under the wig if I swam in it? Um, hair dryer? I don't know. I guess that's a good question. Um, 
ask someone who's done it before. I've never done that, but I've, I've known people that have done that. But I didn't ask them all. How you dry your hair under there? I don't know. Maybe sit under a hair dryer. Put a blow dryer in it. I have no idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blow dry the roots and pin your hair up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Y'all have to. Y'all have to let me know when y'all find out. Okay. Well, thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. Um, y'all go check out Wild Wigs, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.